Hello, and welcome to an EDB special report on the second EVA at Titan Station. This EVA occurred on August 8th at around 11 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. The purpose of the EVA, of course, is to activate the nuclear reactor that was attached to the station earlier this week. Bill Kerman will be the Kerbal going out on EVA. Only one Kerbal will be going out on EVA for practical reasons. As we see closer to the EVA time over the Indian Ocean, the station turned off its lights and Bob Kerman will be monitoring uh, internal systems to make sure there's no overload as the reactor comes online. Uh, all all non-essential systems were turned off during this time with the power from the solar panels being used to stabilize the flow in the station. Jeb Kerman offered to join Bill Kerman out on EVA, however uh, it was decided that uh, Jeb would be most useful controlling the camera drones that will give us our views of what what uh, Bill is doing. And of course Mission Control wants to get a very good look at what uh, Bill Kerman is up to as he goes out on only the second EVA on around Titan Station. And uh, we hear Bill waiting for clearance to go out of the airlock and he has received it. So he is ready to go now and we'll wait for him to emerge from the airlock. This is not a particularly difficult uh, EVA and it should not take too long. However, uh, there is the complication that we do not know if all the systems will function as intended. And uh, here is Bill Kerman out on EVA. He has reported that he is out of the airlock. Mission Control reports that his life signs are good and he's okay to go. He reports that he's letting go of the handrails and going to his EVA pack. As you can see from this camera view, the reactor is directly attached to the thermal generator and so there should be no problem with converting the thermal power from the nuclear reactor into the megajoules that the science lab will need to generate its antimatter, which is the entire goal of uh, adding this reactor to the station. However, there was some concern that the placement of the antimatter container might not be uh, sufficiently accessible to transfer the antimatter from the science lab. Right now there is no facility to rearrange that though because the antimatter container has no rockets or any RCS ports of its own nor any con uh, controller. The need for a space tug of some kind uh, is particularly evident here as perhaps that would be a better way to rearrange the modules of the station and also to bring modules in for docking. But even with a rearrangement, it's not uh, certain that the antimatter can be passed through the, the docking ports. And here we see Bill has reached his destination. Uh, he uh, has reported that he's starting to activate the reactor and and Mission Control has given him the go-ahead. He wants uh, confirmation on the instructions from uh, Bob. Bob says it's all good. Hey, 
Bill says he thinks he's got it. Bob confirms that uh, power levels are are increasing in the station. Electric charge is uh, is quite full. Bill is wondering whether he's okay to return now. Kerbals, of course, have a very short attention span for these sorts of things. Uh, Bob wants him to hang out for a sec. There seems to be some issue with the power transfer. The thermal power from the reactor doesn't seem to be converting properly to uh, megajoules at this point. Mission Control is looking into the matter as well and will advise the Kerbals. As we see the station making its way across the Indian Ocean here, uh, there's no definite indication that this EVA has so far been a success, uh, except that the reactor is activated, that is certain. But uh, simply having an active reactor is not sufficient here. Indeed, uh, We're wondering whether the antimatter production facility will be operational or not, and that's the key here. Bill has been given the go-ahead to return now, as the expectation is that the problem will uh, take a little bit of time to solve, and probably it will not be useful to have him stay out there. However, he will probably remain in the airlock until they uh, decide that uh, he should he should dispense with his suit so here's Bill Kerman making his way back to the airlock on the science lab Bob will attempt to uh, activate the antimatter production facility and see if it's simply a matter of the power meter is not reading properly. There's no risk to that because uh, either they have the power to make the antimatter or they don't. Fairly good camera work uh, here from Jeb Kerman, obviously. Very smooth. As we see Bill Kerman uh, get a hold of the rungs below the airlock. Climbing up to the airlock. And Bill Kerman reports that he's in the science lab airlock now. There are a number of systems that have to work together in order to make this whole situation functional. And right now the reactor seems to be perfectly alright. And uh, the question is whether the thermal generator is going to be functional or not. Besides that, there are the radiator panels that dispense with the waste heat from the station and especially from the reactor core and uh, they have a huge spike in waste heat but that seems to be declining and it ex is expected to reach safe levels by the time uh, the capacity of the panels are tested. So the waste heat situation looks good. 
and we see that they have decided to send Bill out again and this is just to take a look at the thermal generator um, trying to get word from Mission Control what they actually expect him to do it seems like they want him to set it back into some sort of boot mode so that Mission Control itself can reconfigure it it's possible it was in the wrong mode and in fact a lot of these uh, Zephyrin Kerman Warp Supplies Company parts seem to have arrived in the wrong mode. The reactor with the incorrect fuel, for instance. So we hope that this will solve the problems for the station. It's hard to say what the EDB will do if it turns out that the reactor cannot serve its function to to produce antimatter. It uh, will simply be attached to the station with no purpose. The station does not require it to supply power. <laughs> Okay, Bob Kerman is nearing the panel. And he is uh, manipulating that now. Mission Control confirms that they have uh, started the process of reconfiguring the generator. They'll keep uh, Bill outside until they're sure. All right, it looks good. So uh, Bill will get confirmation that he can return. He's just hanging out there to get a last uh, view of. It looks like uh, Malaysia and and uh, and Indonesia right now that uh, the station is passing over. Mission Control wants him back in. So Bill Kerman, uh, his uh, sightseeing cut short, is making his way back to the science lab. We can see from this view that the science lab has its antimatter production instrumentation activated, but we still have no word whether the production is going well or not. Of course, it, it's very hard to generate antimatter in any substantial quantities, so we won't know for a while whether it has actually produced antimatter or not. It's uh, such a tiny bit of, bit of material we're talking about in every, every cycle that it produces. So tough to be certain until perhaps a few hours or a day. That was Bill grumbling about not being able to stay outside for a little bit longer. And he is back into the science lab and they have instructed him to take off his his EVA suit so he will be getting cozy inside the lab as Bob Kerman still works to to figure out what's going on with the internal systems. Again, the reactor core is functional. The thermal system, the radiator panels and everything like that seems to be dissipating the waste heat at an acceptable level. Of course, if it uh, is unable to dissipate the waste heat, the reactor will automatically shut down and there will be no risk of meltdown in that case. 
the station has gone back into into safe mode as it makes its way over the Philippines. We can confirm that the the reactor is functional and the thermal generator is functional. The science lab is receiving power from the from the reactor and uh, sufficient power to begin antimatter production. However, there is no antimatter production underway, unfortunately. There's continued frustration on board as uh, there's no indication why there should be any problem with producing the antimatter, but in fact there is no antimatter being produced and that's going to be a problem for the EDB. There are a number of possibilities. It's unlikely that rearranging the the modules will have any effect, though possibly a space tug, sending a space tug up is part of the future plans of the EDB so that it will be easier to arrange further modules to the station. Uh, a more substantial antimatter collector ship might be in order and uh, something that would specifically produce antimatter and then bring it back to the station and it would produce antimatter in an automated fashion in the in the Van Allen radiation belts would be a way to do it or a specifically a science ship a science ship with a science lab the reactor and antimatter collector all all directly connected together and that could produce antimatter elsewhere perhaps in a slightly higher orbit but not in the radiation belts of course we would like to keep the Kerbal safer but many potential plans are are being thrown about here in mission control as we see the results of this mission uh, perhaps we will find out after a day that some antimatter was produced, but at this point it's increasingly unlikely. But uh, altogether the EVA to activate the reactor was successful, as well as the patch to figure out the thermal generator. So uh, congratulations to Bill Kerman for conducting the successful second EVA at Titan Station. We thank you for watching this presentation from the EDB. And with that, this is the EDB signing off.